Fairfax County Police charging four people in connection with an illegal car meetup early Sunday that injured an officer. The police chief calling this unacceptable, vowing to put an end to these types of incidents in the county. Fox 5's David Kaplan live tonight in Springfield with more on these charges. You see the video, and it says a lot, David. Yeah, Marina, there are four people charged, as we mentioned. Let me just walk you through some of them. A 20-year-old's charged with assaulting a police officer. Two 18-year-olds were charged. One with actually hitting an officer with their vehicle. The other for hitting an officer's cruiser with their vehicle. Chief Kevin Davis called this utter chaos. Take a look. You can see what is left behind. Today, Fairfax police also shared dash camera footage showing what the first officer who encountered people saw as she tried to disperse this crowd. I'm going to be out with a large group of individuals doing donuts in a parking lot behind an electronic. 600 alpha, multiple people blocked my groups are banging my windows. Video that was posted to social media from that night and shared by Fairfax County Police also shows attendees surrounding the police cruiser. Police say there were people trying to open the door to that officer's cruiser. More officers arrived and the crowd eventually did disperse, but not before injuring another officer. Those injuries were characterized as minor. Fox 5 also obtained video from an earlier event in the same night that police believe was the same group doing donuts, driving recklessly at a shopping center in Prince William County. Davis says these meetups are common on weekends in the county. They've seen them, but they have not escalated to this level of dangers for officers before. He says it won't be tolerated. It's beyond unacceptable behavior, and I think uh, we can't grow used to seeing this every Monday morning uh, from now until the fall. Th this is not normal behavior. It can't be tolerated. Uh, this isn't boys being boys. These are young men acting in a criminal nature. They're engaging in thuggish behavior, wearing masks, and they're assaulting police officers. Some pretty strong language there. Davis also added that the county is going to try and respond to this. They're going to have civil disobedience units that will be ready to respond if a situation like this arises again. They don't want to put an officer in the position of the officer who first responded here early on Sunday. He's also implored the Virginia legislature to take up this issue, something that we've seen Maryland do as well. Fairfax County Police say this investigation very much active and ongoing. Back to you.